Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Jaden here from Devil Cube, and I'm back again today with another tutorial and this is going to be in Photoshop. We're going to be learning to create a Twitch or a live stream panel in Photoshop. I made a tutorial on a complete live stream package way long back so you know I thought to take uh, this one by one so in this video I'm going to show you guys only how to create the panel and if you guys want to if you guys want me to create the overlays or the webcam let me know in the comment section down below and probably I'll consider making a tutorial on that so without further ado let's get started Photoshop and on a new document and this is the final version that I created now the inspiration for this comes from uh, this person um, you know who I speak to call Mosen I have no idea how to pronounce this name it's it's just the first time I've ever seen a name like this and he is one of the best designers I have ever seen his designs are so amazing, they are so insane, I just love his work and um, I picked out one of his uh, Twitch overlays that he created for a client and I asked him if I can create, recreate one of this and uh, he gave me permission to do so, so a complete credit goes to him and we're going to be creating something like this, you know, something similar to this. Uh, I tried my best and I also added a little bit of my, my own touch to it to make it pop up more better but this itself is still amazing, so um, let's get started. So go to Google File and click on New and uh, the width and the height for a Twitch panel is generally 320 by 80 but if you set the document to 320 by 80 it gets so pixelated and it gets a little difficult to show properly. So what we do is we multiply it by 2 so 320 uh, times 2 is going to be 640 so let's just type in 640 and uh, 82 times 80 is 160 and so 640 by 160 is what we need and go ahead and click on Create and uh, we get this cool panel all right uh probably you can't see anything but let me just yeah there we go we have this so i'm gonna be jumping back and forth and uh, show you guys uh, how you know what we do what we do okay so first things first let's go ahead and create uh, let's unlock this layer all right there we go we have a simple background layer over here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna double click on this go to the stroke properties and just set this to black all right let's set it to red actually you can see it better and uh, probably gonna set the size of this to say something like five all right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the fill make sure my fill is zero and right click and choose rasterize layer style so now I have only this as my layer all right so I'm gonna go call this um, outline so next go ahead and create a new layer uh, below this and just fill it up with any random color that we want so now let's add in some color actually um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this to a let's say like a dark uh, grayish color somewhere around 130 and uh, fill that up and then I'm gonna go create a new layer press B on my keyboard to get the brush tool and uh, okay this is pretty big so I'm gonna use my left and right uh, square bracket keys right to create that and let's go ahead and just set the color to white and then just go ahead in the center make sure that you are using this soft brush and just click once and that's gonna create something like this looks pretty good so the next thing we want to do is double click on this outline we can go to color overlay and then choose this color uh, 686868 or probably even darker whatever you think looks good and there we go so we created the first part and the background now to create these uh, triangle shaped stuff so let's zoom back a little bit more all right so the next thing we're going to do is make sure that we merge these two layers so this is now one single layer and we're going to go ahead and just get our pen tool by pressing p on our keyboard and then just draw something like this press ctrl enter to create a selection all right so we have a selection and then make sure you're on a new layer and then just fill it up with any color that you want i'm just going to fill it up with this color and ctrl d to deselect and we have something that looks like this right pretty good now uh, we're going to add this uh, metallic uh, gradient effect so let's go ahead and double click on this let's go and choose a gradient overlay so I already have a OLA set, so um, the first color is going to be somewhat of a dark, somewhat of a white color, and the second one is going to be a little lighter version, right, something like that, okay, and we can set the scale to 150, 
and then just move around and place it wherever you think uh, it looks it looks pretty good right something like that go ahead and just click on okay uh, but before we do that let's go ahead and actually add in a drop shadow as well uh, I'm not gonna use global light I'm gonna uncheck global light and okay so I'm gonna move the opacity uh, the distance somewhere like so so probably the distance will set that to 10 and the size to 20 and that's looking pretty good maybe let's try 15 and uh, 30 all right that's that's better let's go ahead and make a copy by pressing ctrl j on our keyboard press ctrl t right click and choose flip horizontal oh actually we want it to flip vertical okay uh, make sure this one is on the top all right and we can go ahead and select the bottom one and then just place it wherever we want it to something like that doesn't have to be perfect and for this one the drop shadow we want to make sure that we don't have use global light and we can move this drop shadow somewhere like so subtle amount of drop shadow and that's looking pretty cool so next we want to do is make a select these two make a copy by pressing ctrl j on our keyboard press ctrl t right click flip vertical and uh right click and choose the horizontal yeah, and there we go we can move this over and uh probably place it right over here i don't know right uh so in this example right you see it, it was like that and there you go maybe these are too much out to the side so let's just tuck them back all right uh okay then we have to change the uh gradient overlay for these we have to reverse them all right and uh, let's do the same thing over here we can select the gradient overlay and choose reverse and let's place a little bit around with this okay let's go here and move this slightly up like so and there you go i think that's looking fairly good uh let's just give a little bit more tweaking oh, another drop shot on the grain all again all right so like that. that's looking pretty good that's looking really good all right so the next thing i want to do is add in an inner shadow so let's go and just click on inner shadow right over here and uh, set this amount to 25 uh, increase the opacity if you want to that's up to you go ahead and click on okay and let's do the same thing over here we can click on inner shadow all right a hundred and distance set to 25 maybe we can set it to 20 rather and uh, 90 and uh, 0 and uh, so it's probably set to 10 i don't know whatever works well and the opacity you can set it to 65 yeah that's looking good all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the same thing for these two open these up go to inner shadow 25 let's do 100 okay let's do the same thing over here uh inner shadow 20 a hundred and pretty much like so okay I think that's looking really good yeah it looks almost cool so the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, grab in our text and logo so I'm just gonna go ahead and just bring it up right over here and put it over here obviously I'm gonna tell you the settings so we're gonna center this all right and uh, we can even scale this down a teeny tiny bit if we want okay and uh, so the font I'm using is called this Acrobat, A-K-R-O-B-A-T, it's called Acrobat. All right, and uh, I think we'll send this to you. Okay, oh, let's bring it back. And uh, this is the Twitter logo, and uh, we have a slight drop shadow, which is around two distance and the four for the size, and opacity set to 20, and a gradient overlay, simple gradient overlay, uh, not too complicated at all and uh, there we go now if you want to export it you can go to um, save for web so Control alt shift s that's going to open up your uh, save for web format and uh, you can go ahead and change the image size of this to 320 divided by 80 and you can see it's 50 percent and it makes it smaller and uh, that's looking pretty good go ahead and just click on save and we are good to go so that's pretty much it on creating this cool simple and metallic elegant looking 
Twitch panel in Photoshop. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to mention that in the comment sections down below. Subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. And if you want another thing like this, make sure to mention that in the comment sections again. Turn on notifications. Do not forget that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.